when we hear Egypt the first thing that comes to our minds is the pyramids and the mummies that lie under them. The massive tombs give us a glimpse into an ancient civilization that existed thousands of years ago and help us better understand the real human history, which often overlooked by academia. But, when was the first Egyptian mummy discovered? The mummies were discovered in 1881 and 1898 in two caches in the ruins of Thebes. Thebes is a Egypt's ancient capital, today it is known as a Luxor in Upper Egypt. A mummy is a dead human or an animal whose soft tissues and organs have been preserved by either intentional or accidental exposure to chemicals, extreme cold, very low humidity, or lack of air, so that the recovered body does not decay further if kept in cool and dry conditions. But, nowadays mummies often featured in fictional works of horror. While there has never been any stories of real mummies reanimating. Instead if we examine their bodies, it provides significant insight into our real past. By studying these mummies, we know what they ate, how they spent the last few days of their life, their medical history, and even their cause of death. Most of the oldest mummies ever discovered were naturally preserved by such factors as arid desert heat, mud, or layers of thick ice. The oldest intentionally mummified people were found in South America and date back to about 5000 BCE, thousands of years before Egyptians started preserving their dead. But, who discovered the first mummy in Egypt, and when this topic about mummies was started? Near the temple of Alexander the Great in the Baharia Oasis, one of the antiquity guards was riding his donkey, when the animal stepped into an unexpected hole in the ground. What the hole revealed was the face of an ancient golden mummy. Most locals do not believe in this story and consider it nothing more than a popular myth. In each case, the background of the discovery cannot compare to the significance of the actual fine 2,000-year-old necropolis from the Greco-Roman period filled with exquisite ancient golden mummies. The original radar studies of the area suggested that there could be more than 10,000 mummies on the 3 square kilometer territory of the necropolis, but so far, only about 250 have been found. The place is now known as the Valley of the Golden Mummies and most people have never heard of it. The main question is, why did the ancient Egyptians make mummies? The ancient Egyptians mummified their dead because they believed that the physical body would be important in the next life. Thus, preserving the body in as lifelike a way as possible was the goal of mummification. But, it is true. Between 5000 and 3000 years ago, the Egyptian priests knew of the existence of the astral body. They called it the Ka and they left inscriptions and drawings on the rock walls of many temples and buildings, representing it as something subtle and light abandoning the physical body. With the help of astral projection, peoples can travel outside the physical body throughout the universe. By leaving the physical body, the astral body can float and traverse across the world or observe the environment. Individuals who practice astral projection are aware of what's happening around them. Having that in mind separating your consciousness from your physical body to explore the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is known as the astral realm. Astral projection gives you incredible freedom. Is it the main reason behind disappearance of ancient civilizations without a trace? Maybe mummies are their physical body. During an astral projection, you can do absolutely everything you desire, flying over the world, visiting friends and observing them, going back in time, communicating with higher frequency beings. The possibilities in the astral realm are limitless. Many people believe astral projection as the ultimate evidence of life after death, and a solid proof for the hypothesis that other higher dimensions exist. And the fact that our consciousness is separate from our physical bodies and our life here on Earth is simply a small journey from an endless existence. The belief of astral projection as a real phenomenon, and not a fabrication of the mind can even be supported by quantum physics. Since as quantum physics suggests, everything is energy and we are all connected. Maybe this is the reason the ancient Egyptian abandoned their physical body. What do you think about this? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.